Hi everyone, Pat the Me, Pop Tano here, the internet's busiest music nerd. And it's time for a review of the new Pup record, Morbid Stuff. Toronto band Pup is back with a new album of new material right here. It is their third since exploding onto the scene back in 2013, when they were delivering a pretty meat and potatoes blend of pop punk and post hardcore. And while I wasn't exactly nutso for the group's follow up album, The Dream Is Over, in comparison with the debut, Pup's sophomore album did feature better songwriting, a more explosive sound overall, a greater appreciation for hooks, especially on what was their best single at the time, DVP. However, in my opinion, the teaser tracks to this newest record from Pup have been even better. Kids and Sibling Rivalry, as well as Free at Last, whose panicky lead vocals sound like something off of a, an AJJ, formerly Andrew Jackson Jihad album. All these cuts come packed with righteous riffs and anthemic guitars and snotty singing, melodic lead vocals and sharp hooks. It is very clear that Pup has a great appreciation for the pop punk of the 90s and the 2000s, and they sort of add in a splash of emo on these tracks too. It's like listening to a 10 car pileup of Weezer and the Dickies and the Ergs and Jeff Rosenstock, as well as the Menzingers. Even some of the guitar playing on Sibling Rivalry sounds lifted out of a Sum 41 song, but with some added grit and edge. This record easily delivers Pup's best blend of influences and sounds yet. I would still argue in the grander scheme of rock and pop punk, it's not exactly the most original sound in the world, but I think the snappy songwriting on this record does a lot to make up for that. There's not really a snoozer in the whole track list on this thing, nor a song where it felt like the band wasn't writing up to their full potential. There are also a few genre twists and turns in the track list on this record that I think were very necessary given just how one-dimensional Pup's last album read to me. There's the track Full Blown Meltdown, whose riffs and guitar tones are very, very sludgy, bordering on just straight metal music. Truly the heaviest cut the band has ever Ever put out. And the band puts every ounce of ferocity that they have into the performance of this one track between Stefan's just throat shredding screams and, and Zach's very muscular drumming. This track is absolutely hard hitting and badass. It's like listening to High on Fire meets pop punk. The song Kids isn't a total departure from Pup's usual sound, but the very wordy and shouted diatribes and the verses on this track are enough to uh, give the band a bit more of a, a new flavor, a new direction. Almost feels like something out of the Dead Milkmen playbook, but updated tastefully for a modern pop punk audience. The song City isn't a favorite of mine on the album here, but the band still effectively pulls off a very low-key and sad closer to end the album off. And Scorpion Hill sees Pup kicking things off with a kind of a backwater country ballad that suddenly throttles into a very aggressive high octane piece of pop punk. During the more country passage of this track, the band kind of sounds like the Black Lips, but without as much of a, I don't know, weirdo appeal. Like the Black Lips if they were taking a lot less LSD. There's also an irresistibly catchy and lovably morbid chorus on this thing that I, I like quite a bit. And needless to say, the lyrics across this entire record most definitely help this album live up to its title of Morbid Stuff. This album may in fact be at its darkest on the track See You At Your Funeral, which is maybe the, the pettiest pop punk song ever recorded, with lyrics like, I hope somehow I never see you again, and if I do it's at your funeral, or better yet, I hope the world explodes, I hope that we all die, we can watch all the highlights in hell, I hope they're televised. The song Sibling Rivalry is very similar in spirit in that it also focuses on someone that uh, the protagonist is, is very fed up with. And we get even more dark intentions on this record with the song Bloody Mary, Kate, and Ashley, which has one of the best hooks on the entire record. It's soaring, it's harmonious, it's exuberant, all these huge, layered, shouted group vocals, it is just incredible pop punk, but the verses on this thing sound more like a goth rock band's wet dream. The highlights continue onto the track Closure, which features even more great songwriting and a kind of mellow, twinkly, emo breakdown in the second half that's very reminiscent of American football. The track also comes with one of the grandest finishes on the entire record, too. Overall, I think this is a pretty great and solid rock album. Again, maybe not one of the most cutting edge or inventive in this particular style or genre. Occasionally, I find the recording to be a little dry and a little plain, even though it does a great job of translating the band's very electrifying performances. But even after considering those shortcomings and that there are maybe a few tracks in the track list here that are 
just okay, this is still Pup's best album to date, and maybe one of the better pop-punk albums of the decade, too. I would also argue that with the release of this album, Pup has solidified themselves as one of the better and most consistent pop-punk bands of this decade, too, as there are only maybe a few groups out there who I can think have been as consistent and as creative as Pup over the years. The Wonder Years, The Story So Far, Joyce Manor, Jeff Rosenstock is probably my favorite, but Pup does come in at a very solid second. So all things considered, Morbid Stuff is a very great and enjoyable album, and I am feeling a strong 7 to a light 8 on this thing. Tran, Zition, have you given this album a listen? Did you love it? Did you hate it? What would you rate it? You're the best, you're the best. What should I review next? Hit the like if you like. Please subscribe and please don't cry. Hit the bell as well. Over here next to my head is another video that you can check out. Hit that up or the link to subscribe to the channel. Anthony Fantano, Pup, Morbid Stuff, forever.